This tutorial covers formatting a paper in Microsoft Word in accordance with the APA Manual of Style. When we refer to APA, we're talking about the literal Manual of Style published by the American Psychological Association. The whole purpose behind this manual is to establish a simple set of procedures or style rules that would codify the many components of scientific writing to increase the ease of reading comprehension. When writing in accordance with APA, you want to be clear and concise. You want to avoid wordiness and creative writing styles. Simply say what you mean and mean what you say, and make sure you give credit to your sources. You also want to avoid using gender identifying words like he or she, and avoid statements of bias against products, services, facilities, or people. Also, pay attention to formatting and organization because it is formatting and organization that allow your colleagues to read your papers more easily. Standard formatting helps your colleagues by creating consistency in paper appearance so they know where to look for certain components of your paper. Formatting covers how you set up your title page, the inclusion of a running head, where page numbers appear, the mechanics of writing such as punctuation, abbreviations, spelling, and capitalization, displaying data in charts, graphs, and tables. It also dictates how you cite sources in the body of the paper, as well as how those sources are represented in your references page at the end of the paper. Don't be overwhelmed by all of this. You aren't expected to memorize these rules. You should refer to a copy of the APA manual as you are writing. If you don't have your own copy, feel free to come by the Shake Learning Resources Center to borrow a copy from our circulating collection or from the reference desk. We will go through the setup of a Word document step by step. You can use this as a template for your future papers. First, open a blank document in Word. On the Home tab, click on the gray arrow in the Paragraph ribbon to open the options. Change the spacing for before and after to zero. Change the line spacing to double. And click OK to save these changes. Next, still on the Home tab, click on the gray arrow in the Font ribbon to open the options. Set the font to Times New Roman regular, size 12. Click Set as Default. Check the remote button next to All Documents Based on the Normal .dotm template. Click OK. Next, we will set up the title page. On the Home tab, click on the Center Justify button in the Paragraph ribbon. Then hit the Enter button four times to move the cursor to the appropriate line of the page. Now type your paper's full title, your name, and Vincennes University. Now we will set up the running head. First click on the Insert tab. Then click on Page Break to move to the second page. Click on Header and click on Blank to select the first option. Type the title of your paper in all caps. The title should not be longer than 12 words or 50 characters. Hit the tab button once or twice depending on the length of your title to move the cursor to the right side of the page. Now check the box next to Different First Page up in the ribbon. Next we will insert page numbers. Click on the Page Numbers button, drag your mouse down to Current Position, then continue to drag your mouse over Plain Number option and click to select. Now we will go back to the title page to edit the running head. First, double click on the body of your paper and scroll up. Then double click in the header space to get an active cursor. 
type running head, followed by the full title of your paper in all caps. Then hit the tab button, again once or twice depending on the length of your title, to move the cursor to the right hand side of the page. Click again on the page numbers button, dragging the mouse down to current position and over to plain number. Click to select. Now we will format the body of the paper. First, double click in the body of the document and scroll to move back to the second page. Click the left Justify button on the Home tab. Lastly, we will format the References page. References start on a new page at the end of the paper. They are listed alphabetically, are double-spaced, and use a hanging indent. Remember to include all cited works in your References page. To format your References page, click on the Insert tab. Then on Page Break to move the cursor to a new page. Now click on the Home tab and click the Center Justify button. Type References at the top of the page. Hit the Enter key once to move to the next line. Next, click on the arrow in the lower right-hand corner of the paragraph ribbon. Select Left from the Alignment drop-down menu. Select Hanging Indent option from the drop-down menu. Click OK to save the changes. If you have any questions or need any help, don't hesitate to contact a librarian. You can drop by the library, send an email, or call a librarian directly or at the reference desk.